All right, everyone, welcome back to another Mod Bros video. I'm sure uh, if you follow us on Instagram, you saw that I recently bought this just a couple days ago. Um, it just came into the Walmart that we have near us. Um, I've been really excited about it ever since I first saw it announced at the beginning of the year, along with the other things that were expected to come out this year. This is the first time in a long time I've actually been pretty excited about a Rival Blaster, because it's a bolt action, a true bolt action, not like the normal nerf just pull back bolts that you usually get. It's a sniper, and as you know, uh, I'm all about sniping. Um, I really love the Kronos, so I'm hoping this has Kronos-esque internals. Um, so it'd be a really nice, easy upgrade. Um, I'll delve into those uh, modding aspects in a later video, but just right now, let's open this. Oh. Um, so in the package you get the sniper, the the Jupiter, has some zip ties on it, holding it in. Um, on, on the blaster itself, it has the extra rounds that comes with it. Uh, it looks like it comes with 10 rounds, so that'd be one full magazine. Um, uh, it looks pretty nice. Ooh, it has, uh, has like a rubberized cheek weld here, which is pretty nice. The bolt, it works like a real bolt action. Feels pretty light. It sounds, yeah, if you can see in there, it has like a Kronos style AR. Um, that's not really quite an AR. Um, it's got some rival Picatinny up here at the top and you top load right here. It looks like it has a flip up iron right there at the front that matches up with those. Um, oh yeah, th this is an extremely comfy blaster. The right here where I would put my hand, I'd probably put like something covering it or just get that extra little bit of comfort because other than that, this rubberized cheek weld here uh, for the stock, it's extremely comfortable. It fits me nice, and I like the kind of cushy feeling that I get. It's like a hard rubber, but it's better than resting your face on on plastic. And there you can see that's it's a clear magazine, clear rival magazine. Um, and when you actuate the bolt, it moves the mag and everything. So it might be a little hard to give it what I was hoping would be possible. Um, I think it still might be possible. But I want to put the rival drum on here, but I would have to cut out the majority of the bottom to make room for the sliding of all the internals. It's got a nice little safety right here. Um, this is like built by like a with right handers in mind. So if you're a left handed person looking for a bolt action, I'd prefer you to go get one of the ambidextrous ones. This one has the right sided bolt and the right sided safety. Um, everything's like oriented for the right handed person. Um, this back here is a stabilizer so you can rest it on a bench if you if you want to. Um, right here it's still trapped. Let me get it out. This is the bipod that goes on the front. It has a lock-in function right here with the lever. It tightens and loosens this area right here. So you can lock it on to the Picatinny, which is, I think it's a pretty cool function. It looks really nice with the, I guess, monopod or stabilizer with the bipod on the front. Um, oh, that's cool. The, you can pull this out with with pressing the button and then it'll retract automatically by pushing the button again um let's see let's let's load up the rounds that it gives us and shoot at the target it comes with all right so while i was putting the rounds into 
the Jupiter. I noticed something. This is the one that came with the Jupiter. It's closer to like that highlighter yellow for fluorescent green color. These are typical rival rounds. They're a lot more yellow. See, you can see this one's just that little bit more green. You put the Kronos, the rival ball next to the Jupiter and there's just like a distinct difference. You put this one that came with it next to it and it's like they're the same color. I just think that's a sort of cool thing to help differentiate the edge rounds versus the typical rival rounds. Um, instructions that came with it said to set up the, the target 10 feet away, but I really don't feel like doing that. I'm gonna shoot at the target. You can see right there the, the green target right there. I'd say it's about 20 feet away. Um, I'm outside, so we're setting up the target right there. Um, I'm gonna do, let's say, three standing shots and then three prone shots and three kneeling shots. being standing. I hit it on the third shot. A couple prone shots right now. Without the stabilizer. Alright. That was three shots without the stabilizer and not really using iron sights. I have the stabilizer out now. As long as I'm lined up with the target, it should be good. Oh. Last shot. All right. So, maybe it's at 10 feet for a reason. Maybe not. Maybe. I'm just not being the best shot I can be. Um, I have what looks like three shots left. I'm gonna fire them down range. With a slight angle, I'm just gonna put two balls down range. All right, that first one curved, landed about 50 feet away. Second one curved to the right a little bit too, hit the same spot. So it's good that it's consistent. Um, they hit right about here at the mailbox, which um, you see behind us. We're not really that far from the target. Um, I'm gonna grab the rival round, um, and then we'll finish out the video. All right, guys. Um, this has been the Jupiter. Uh, so I know during my shooting test, it I wasn't great. But off camera, Sawyer can attest that I hit 8 out of 10 shots um, at the target, shooting at it uh, like 10 feet away. Um, I was standing and shooting. I wasn't prone or kneeled or anything. Um, made that sound. It was good. It's good at... I don't know, I'd say a max of 15 feet. Anything over that, I feel you'll start getting flyaways. I'll have to open this up to see its modding potential, but it's got one of those removable, like, Kronos pop-ups, which is really nice. Um, I have high hopes for this. I'd like it to be more accurate, shoot a little harder, but I think this is a good blaster for out of the box it's extremely comfortable i like the true bolt action uh i like how it holds 10 rounds that's pretty nice of, compared to the the chronos's five to six depending on the mod that you do i would definitely recommend this if you like snipers like rival if you like the way this looks um other than that i'd say out of box pre-mod 
I'll give this a seven and a half, or I'll give it an eight out of ten. Um, because it's, it's extremely comfy. I like the bolt action. I like the rounds. Everything I've said so far. Um, so look forward to probably a modded video in the future at some point. Um, and tell us what you think if you like these unboxing review videos that we've been doing. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Like and comment. And we'll see you next time. Bye.